All right, folks, buckle up as we dive headfirst into the exciting world of databases. It's a bit like stepping into a maze. One turn leads you to rows and columns, another to an unstructured data jungle. We're going on a wild ride exploring each corner, unearthing databases that are the unsung heroes behind the apps and services you use every day. So, let's get started and see what we can learn. Welcome to the domain of lightweight databases, a space where agility meets functionality. Here, databases are like nimble acrobats, adept at handling web applications with grace, but might sweat a bit when the spotlight of heavy data loads shines on them. If you're delving into web applications, chances are you'll bump into MySQL. It's like the Swiss army knife of databases, versatile and reliable, but don't get too comfortable. Scaling it up is like trying to fit a square peg in a round hole and sometimes it feels a bit short on those fancy analytical features. Here's Postgres, the hidden gem of open source databases. It's like that one friend who's good at everything, complex queries, advanced data types, you name it. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Postgres might start sweating when things get too busy. The guy has some performance anxiety. MariaDB stepped up from MySQL's shadow to shine, boasting enhanced features and performance. It's like a newer, cooler sibling still trying to prove itself. While it's gaining traction, it's not quite the talk of the town yet. Ever needed a database as portable as a Swiss army knife but as lightweight as a feather? Enter SQLite. It's the ultimate go-to for small-scale applications, perfect for when you want to keep things simple and contained. But remember, if you're planning to host a data party with high concurrency and complexity, SQLite might just RSVP with a polite, no, thank you. Leaving the world of these adaptable and user-friendly databases, let's venture into the territory of the giants, the enterprise-level relational databases. For those who swear by the Microsoft ecosystem, SQL Server is the go-to. It's as sturdy as a fortress, making it a favorite for .NET applications. But it's a bit like a fancy club. It prefers the Windows environment, and let's just say the membership fee isn't exactly pocket change. Step into the Oracle arena, where big guns play. It's the Hercules of databases, robust, reliable, and armed with features that can handle anything you throw at it. But beware, it's like owning a luxury car. The costs are high, and you need to be a bit of a mechanic to keep it running smoothly. Then we have IBM DB2, donning its cape like a superhero for high-performance enterprise applications. It's got the brains for data analytics and the brawn for scalability. However, just like a superhero's complex backstory, DB2 can be a bit intricate to manage and is more suited for the big leagues. From the structured world of enterprise giants, let's leap into NoSQL databases. Here, those unstructured data challenges get a little wild with flexibility and scalability. Meet MongoDB, the maverick of databases, waving the flag of flexibility with its schemaless approach. Picture it as a contortionist, easily bending to accommodate unstructured data. But it's not all about acrobatics. MongoDB might leave you scratching your head when you need complex transactions and relational integrity. Here comes Cassandra, a powerhouse that handles oceans of data across multiple servers. Think of it as the juggernaut of databases, effortlessly scaling to meet your needs. But be warned, it's not a walk in the park to learn especially if you've been dancing to the tune of relational databases all your life. CouchDB saunters in with a flair for simplicity, sporting a user-friendly web interface and slick replication. It's like your chill friend who makes working with JSON a breeze in web apps. However, CouchDB might politely decline the challenge if your needs include complex queries or gargantuan datasets. DynamoDB is Amazon Web Services' secret weapon, built to scale like a dream and handle the unpredictability of web traffic like a pro. But every superhero has a weakness. And for DynamoDB, it's the confines of its querying capabilities and a price tag that might make your wallet weep at scale. And now, for something completely different, Neo4j, the master of connections. In a world of graph databases, 
It stands tall, untangling complex intertwined relationships with ease. It's ideal for social networks and fraud detection. But it's like learning a new language. Setting it up can be a quest. Leaving behind NoSQL's flexible and diverse universe, let's march toward the innovative frontier of NewSQL and distributed databases. This is where tradition meets modernity and scalability shakes hands with reliability. Step up to the grand stage with Hive, a key player in the NewSQL and distributed database scene. Designed to sit atop Hadoop, Hive transforms massive, unstructured data lakes into structured, query-friendly environments. It's like having a skilled translator who can interpret the complex language of big data into the familiar dialect of SQL. While Hive excels in data analytics, remember, it's built for strength, not speed. A marathon runner in a world of sprinters. And now, let's welcome a different kind of beast, Apache Kafka. Think of Kafka not just as a database, but as a streaming platform, a maestro orchestrating real-time data flows. It's like the central nervous system of data, transmitting messages at lightning speed, perfect for when you need your data, not just stored, but also moved, processed, and analyzed in real time. Kafka isn't your typical database. It's more like the life of the party, making sure data is always where it needs to be, exactly when it's needed. Greenplum is like a data warehouse on steroids, flexing its muscles with massively parallel processing. Ready to dive deep into machine learning and AI? Greenplum's your pal, but remember, with great power comes great complexity in setup and management. With great power comes great responsibility. Here's CockroachDB, tough as nails and built to survive. It's all about distributed SQL. Think of it as a chameleon, adapting to your scalability needs while maintaining the familiarity of traditional SQL. However, its intricate architecture might be overkill if you dabble in small-scale applications. Now, let's talk about Amazon Aurora. It's like the cool, cloud-savvy cousin of MySQL and Postgres, boasting high performance and seamless integration in AWS. Perfect for scaling up to the cloud, but watch out for the bill. Aurora's excellence might cost you more than a pretty penny, especially as your usage grows. As we wave goodbye to the bustling cities of NewSQL and distributed databases, let's venture into the exotic landscapes of specialized and niche databases. This is where we find the specialized tools, each with unique charm and challenges. First up is Elasticsearch, which is not just any database, but a search engine superstar based on Lucene. Imagine having a personal detective dedicated to your full text search needs, sifting through data like a pro. But beware, this detective requires some serious know-how to manage, especially when the case gets big. Next, we meet RethinkDB, the cool kid on the block designed for the real-time web. It's like having a superpower to push updates to your apps instantly. While it makes real-time look easy, Keep in mind it's a bit of a lone wolf since development has slowed down. Enter ArangoDB, a jack of all trades in the database world. It's a multi-model maestro, carefully juggling documents, graphs, and key values. It's ideal for when you can't decide between different data types, but it's not the usual suspect, so you might find fewer fellow travelers and guides on this path. Meet InfluxDB, the time lord of databases, ruling over time series data with an iron fist. Whether IoT, real-time analytics, or monitoring, InfluxDB handles time like no other. But remember, it's a specialist. For general database chores, you might need to look elsewhere. Lastly, let's not forget Redis, the flash of the database universe. It's all about speed, living in the fast lane, and storing everything in memory. Perfect for when you need data faster than a speeding bullet, but be careful. Its power is constrained by the size of its memory. And with that, we've journeyed through the dynamic and diverse world of databases, from the versatile generalists to the masterful specialists. Each database is a unique tool in the vast toolbox of technology, waiting to be wielded by skilled hands in the quest to harness data. This concludes our epic tour. If you like content like this, please subscribe to this channel and go on to stratascratch.com to get data science resources. Thank you.